Well, many of us have been to wineries or wine festivals and encountered people who know way more than we do about tasting wine. That's right, but today, Steph from CorkEnvy.com joins us to walk through some simple steps that will have us tasting wine like a pro in no time. Thanks hey, for coming Jason, in. No How problem. Are Thanks you? for having me back. Good yes, again. we love having you. Thank you. That's for sure. All right, All right so what are the steps in tasting wine? Uh, so the steps that I've uh, kind of created, we're going to see the wine, we're going to swirl the wine, smell the wine, sip the wine, savor the wine, and finally uh, swallow the wine. Okay. Or Otherwise, okay. which we'll discuss later. All so. right. Awesome. Okay. I'll start with the S. S. Easy, easy Absolutely. to, Six to follow. Okay, okay, so the first one is C. C. So what we're looking for, so uh, uh, Brittany, you have white. Yes, now sure we do. have red. Mm -hmm. So we're going to kind of go through these steps. So what you're looking for is the clarity of the wine, the color of the wine. So like with the white, you're looking for a clear golden to maybe almost an amber. Okay. And uh, Natalie, you'd be looking for like a br uh, oh, purple wow. colors. I mean, anything right. in the purple oh, yeah. tones. Really see. dark. But if it's unfiltered, you want to see that. Okay. So okay. That's pretty, that's it. You're looking at it. Okay. So we, right. we're doing these steps, so we, um, we're, we're testing the quality of the wine as we do that. So okay. now you're going to okay. swirl this wine. Swirl. Now you this is what we do. see all the Go time. Ahead. You yes. do. And why are people they're doing this? Are they being pretentious? Or, no, they're not. What they're doing is uh, getting air into the swirler. wine oh, and releasing air. some aromas for the next step, which is smell. Oh, yeah. And don't be afraid to get your nose in there when oh. you're... Um, typically, we have smaller glasses here, but get your nose in there and really smell. I mean, keep in mind, everything we taste comes more from the yeah, from nose absolutely. than anything else. And don't uh, inhale in like like the deepest breath like you're at the doctor's office, but maybe shorter sniffs like you see okay. your dog sniffing around when yeah. you walk your dog. Those shorter sniffs actually get more of the aromas in there. Okay, so there. we've Bam. seen it. We have. We've swirled it. Right. We've smelled it. We haven't even What's tasted next? it. Yeah, know. so Let's now we're going to sip it. There we go. Okay, okay. Now so we're taking sips. And in this step, you want to take a, you know, a small sip, not like a kid with medicine or something like that, but, you know, not gulping it down either. Okay. Um, yeah, Natalie. Now, right now, you're looking for the, uh, <laughs> nice. so now you're looking for the flavors in there. Okay. You're looking for oak, you're looking for fruit, you're looking for uh, vanilla, any vegetable. Do I swirl vegetable. it in my mouth, or what you do I can't. do? You can't. So a lot of, uh, a lot of pros, and. Okay. So, well, it's hard to, oh, oh. breathe in kind of sucks the air through that. That's hard okay. to do without right. uh, kind of choking yourself mm -hmm. there. And just to get a little air through it. So you're just kind of testing the quality of the wine and the balance of the Don't breathe. components in the wine. <laughs> I actually well, warned you on that one. Okay. Great. So yeah, I put the savor in bad. there as well. Uh, we kind of do that in along, in, along with sipping, but it's really okay. just to remind you to like, hey, go ahead and... and um, experience it, right? Experience okay. this wine. Think about what you're tasting as you go through it. And it doesn't take a lot. You can sit at a full table and do this without people even knowing you're going through these steps. Okay. okay. So we've sipped it. The next right. one is savor. It is savor. Okay. So, you know, at this point, you're going to kind of think about like how the wine is finishing, which means basically like how long is it sitting, staying with you after you swallow it. Okay. Mm. Um, you know, does, does it stay with you a long time, a short time? Is it kind of like a sip Depends of water? On how like much it's I just drink. gone. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. So you do get to that point. Okay. <laughs> All right. And then the last one. The last one is. Do we is want to swallow it swallow or, do we want or to get rid spit of it? it out? So, Which is very interesting because it's wine. It is interesting itself. So I think spitting wine is just a waste of wine, personally. Yeah. Uh, but no, professionals do this, especially professionals who were judging competitions who are tasting 100 or more wines a day. Or right. some wine pros, uh, if you're a wine director, you're tasting 400 plus wines a week. So they kind of want to keep their wits about them a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My personal thought is take a smaller sip, go ahead and swallow it. For me, I feel like I get a better effect of the wine when I swallow it mm -hmm. um, okay. and get a little more effect of it. So if I had a taste tasting pour like this, I'd, I've had my sip, I would just pour this out and okay. move on to my next sip. And that's, okay. that's not a faux pas in the wine world. Good. Whoops, there you go. Well, well, there we there go. you have it. I feel yeah. like a pro now. Well, if you want a link to Stubbs' blog, which is corkenvy.com, mm -hmm. or a recap of this segment so you can taste wine like a pro, head to our website, daytimebluebridge.com.